International Journal of Health Policy and Management. Quality and speed are our culture and the keys to our success. Welcome to the audio summary section of the International Journal of Health Policy and Management. My name is Emiola Oluwabumi Olapade Olaupa. I am the current provost of the College of Medicine, University of Ibadan, Nigeria, and the executive secretary of the Association of Medical Schools of Africa. I am talking on behalf of my co-authors Nelson K. Sewankambo and Jehu E. Uputo about our comment on non-physicians clinicians in sub-Saharan Africa and the evolving role of physicians, a paper written by Eyal et al. The title of our commentary is Defining Sub-Saharan Africa's Health Workforce Needs Going Forward Quickly into the Past. Our commentary was based on a quote by Alexander Brown in 1963 in his paper published in Medical Education in which he stated that whatever device is created for dealing with the sheer volume of health work in Africa, it must not be one which compromises the standards of university medical education. Recent proposals for redefining the roles of Africa's health workforce are a continuation of the discussions that have been held since colonial times. The proposals have centered on basing the continent's healthcare delivery on non-physician clinicians who can be quickly trained and widely distributed to treat majority of the common diseases. While seemingly logical, the success of these proposals will depend on the development of clearly defined professional duties for each cadre of healthcare workers, taking the peculiarities of each country into consideration. As such, the countrywide efforts aimed at health professionals' curriculum reforms, more effective utilization of task shifting, as well as the intra- and interdisciplinary collaborations must be encouraged. Since physicians play a major role in the training, mentoring and supervision of physician and non-physician health workers alike, the maintenance of the standards of university medical education is central to the success of all health systems models. It must also be recognized that efforts at improving Africa's health systems can only succeed if the necessary socio-economic, educational and technological infrastructures are in place.